Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? So today, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at Valley of the Ancient to the Unreal Engine 5 demo, uh, and we're going to use DLSS. Now, when I played this demo, I think it's a month ago, whenever Unreal Engine 5 first came out, my FPS was not really good, I think. So what we're going to do today, since DLSS is now out for Unreal Engine 5, we're going to go ahead and play around with that to see the difference between it being on and it being off. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have it turned on. Let's go to our blueprint. I'm going to set this to off because we're going to start with off and we're going to play through this game. I also turned off motion blur for all people out there who don't like motion blur. So yeah, let's get started. F11 and then let's move around. So right now we're getting around 42, about 22 MS. And this is running on Epic settings. I mean, it looks great, but I know some people out there don't think that this will be playable at this setting here, being 50 or 40 frames per second. Because whenever we go to the dark world, it's actually going to decrease a little bit, especially when fighting the uh, the ancient one. All right. So let's turn it on and let's go into dark world. About 50 right now. Okay, here we are in the dark world. I'm gonna walk around, averaging around 50-ish, which is not too bad, I don't think, but, you know, people actually want that 60 FPS, you know, they won't play anything less than that. All the assets look good, although I wish they would release the previous demo that they had last year, because I don't think these mega scans are as high as quality as their first demo when we were first introduced to our character Echo here. So hopefully it would they would release that other demo for us to play around with. That would be really cool. Yeah, this is around the same FPS I was getting. Now I am recording this with a uh, G Force Experience Shadow Play because I don't have my other tower yet. So here we go. You gotta take that into account. Looks pretty darn good. 40, 50. Alright. Now that dropped to 40 frames per second whenever I had the particles. And it dropped to 30 when I was jumping up. Okay. Alright. Forty-two, forty-four, yeah. Alright, let's see how much we're gonna get during this boss fight here. Let's run in. About 20 MS. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna have him shoot me a little bit. 42, 43. Yeah, it's around the same FPS I'm getting when I first played this. And I can really feel it in the uh, gameplay as well. Yeah, we're even dropping to like 30. Looks good. All right. And I saw the texture streaming pool pop up there towards the end. So let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. 32 gigabytes will do. Okay, so now let's turn on balance, which I think is the best balance as far as performance and quality goes when it comes to DLSS. So let's go ahead and save. And we were plus play. Okay, let's go ahead and press F11. And let's move around. Well, it's, it's cool because she's sitting and I'm sitting. Uh, definitely got to get a freaking table today because it's hurting my back. 
So here we go, 60 frames per second with balance and I'm not sure if you can actually tell the virtual or visual difference between having DLSS on and off, but to me playing it right now firsthand, I actually do not see the difference. But you can see that I'm actually breaking 60 FPS right now. That I can see, so. All right. Let's move into the dark world here. And let's see how many FPS we get. All right, so we just broke 72, 73 FPS in the dark world. Visually, I, I can't tell. You know, it's, it's just pretty crazy. Now, I'm pretty excited because AMD apparently, everybody's hyping this up right now on YouTube. Uh, AMD apparently has this same exact technology coming out or already came out. It's called Fidelity FX. It's supposed to be super scaling the same way, you know, DLSS is doing what DLSS is doing. I'm pretty curious because everybody is freaking hyping AMD right now. It's crazy. I mean, I can't wait. Uh, I'll, uh, hopefully, I can get one and compare the two. But apparently, AMD is about to uh, strike back. It's finally awake. It's actually a pretty good darn timing. In my opinion, if they can come out with graphics cards that the miners can't use to mine stuff and strictly for, for like video gaming, I think this is probably the best time for AMD to finally start selling some cards, take this opportunity to make cards just for video gamers. And actually have them in stock because miners aren't taking them, you know. Well, I didn't even see this before. That's neat. I guess it's a little foreshadowing there. I didn't even see that before. All right. About 56, 58 here. 60, we just broke 60 in here. Yeah, we're at 60, 70 right now. We're in this little cutscene here. Now it's crazy because before, you know, if you played games before, the cutscenes usually look better. Like, you know, like, wow, the cutscenes are, oh my gosh, and then you go to the gameplay, it looks like garbage. But now with Unreal 5, the cutscenes in the gameplay intercut so well. Alright, we're getting about 59, almost 60 frames per second. And I'm like right in front of them. You know, it is dipping still. I have them shoot one more time. Yeah, that, that didn't dip to 40, I don't think. So this right here is playable. I mean, this feels pretty good as far as controls go and lag. All right, let's kill this guy. Oh, I missed what the... that went through him. My bad, sorry about that. My three-year-old can aim better than me. Alright, let's walk around him. I saw, I saw that pop up. You guys saw that? <laughs> Guess Nanite wasn't enabled there, huh? Yeah, we finally broke 60 on this one. Okay. Alright, so the next setting we're going to take a look at is ultra performance all right so press f11 go to blueprints let's change this to ultra performance compile save okay okay and this is ultra performance dlss now some of y'all actually don't even notice the difference 
between DLSS Ultra Performance and Balance and Off, but that's a good thing. That means DLSS is doing a great job at hiding that. But as far as FPS goes, so you can see we actually have like 67 FPS coming from like 44, 45 with it off. dark world and here you actually really do see the difference now we're actually we just broke 90 right there 90 fps with ultra performance on now i told y'all before dlss was the only way i could actually play 8k cyberpunk without dlss it's impossible to play 8k cyberpunk you know so dlss i think is a pretty good deal considering it comes with the RTX cards. And I gotta tell you, man, paying $1,400 for the RTX 3090 last year in September, it's probably the best buy money of I best thing I've ever bought for the money. Yeah, you can tell there a little bit that the quality degraded, but man, if console can pull this off somehow this fps and looking like this for the next gen ps5 man a lot of console people are gonna be happy all right so there he is again Same hairstyle as uh, that chick from uh, Star Wars that nobody likes. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, I got 70, 74. Like I stated before, DLSS is going to help you during event begin play, but for me, I actually use DLSS a lot more since I make CG shorts. It helps me in the editor view as well. So if I go right here and I go to DLSS setting, I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to click on this rock every time so we can kind of keep it standard. We're getting around 11 point something MS, 87 FPS, right? So if I go to DLSS and I turn that on to ultra performance now, you can see the quality is going to get a little bit crappier click on this rock again and now you're getting 96 FPS 97 FPS 
Now that's good because you can work in here, move your people around, your characters animate, and then whenever you're ready, you know, since it doesn't for right now, DLSS doesn't work with exported movies, your quality is still gonna be good. You know, you're not really taking a hit. Like your exports are not gonna look like this. You know, so uh, it's good whenever you're just working in hair, moving around, especially with meta humans and crazy hair grooms. DLSS helps tremendously. And when you're starting to put a lot of people, whenever I made that short here with the mango, DLSS was not around yet. And that's all I got to say. DLSS would have helped me out tremendously in that situation. Okay, so that's pretty much it. The Unreal Engine 5 demonstration uh, with DLSS turned on. And let's take a look at quality here real quick just to see how much FPS we get. About 87, 89, 90. So it's still doing a pretty good job. And it looks good. If you all have any questions, like always, just let me know. And I'll see you all later.